In this video, I'm going to show you how to get sound back if you're not getting any sound from your sound card. Uh, in March of this year, I bought a new sound card to put inside of my desktop system and I disabled my onboard sound card because I was having some trouble and when I cut it on I did not have any sound so after some research I did find a solution to my problem and I decided to make a video to help others if they experience in some, something similar to what I did. Now when you're not experiencing sound the first thing you want to do is to check for the obvious. You can look up here at my speaker icon you can see that it is uh, not muted when it's in mute, when you click mute, it's disabled and has the X. So that was the first thing I checked, was to make sure that uh, my sound was not muted on my sound card. The next thing I did, it was the obvious. I went to my control center, which is like a control panel in Windows. I clicked on my sound icon. I made sure that my hardware, now that's my own board sound card. As you can see, I've disabled it in my BIOS. I do have the analog surround sound enabled, so that is my hardware. So as you can see, the output is that particular sound card. As you can see, I got my balance in the center and my subwoofer, I do have a subwoofer, and it is an analog system, so I made sure that that was correct and that my volume here was turned up as well. I still did not have any sound. Actually, on my hardware, this was kind of dim, meaning that it wasn't active. So in order to active, uh, to Oh, turn it on is you have to go into your terminal and I'm going to copy and paste I have this on my website now I have a link to my website below the video instead of me typing it I can copy and paste there's other things on here that I'll be copying and pasting and putting in my terminal so I'm going to minimize this put this in my terminal press return and what this does is it brings up my awesome mixer allows me to look at which devices and is turned on and off and which switch setting that it is. As you can see, it is on to the Xonar DG. That's the model on my chip. I am on playback. Now, it's currently on headphones. That doesn't mean my output is on headphones. It just simply means that the selection on this column is under headphones. I can take my arrow keys and move it over. Now, here was what my problem was. When I first turned on uh, my computer after I put my sound card in there and I'm going to change the settings I hope I don't lose audio I'll preview this before I put it on YouTube but if you press the up and down arrow keys you can see it says analog output stereo headphones and stereo headphones analog output when I first put the sound card into my computer this was the setting the default setting when I put it in there this analog output stereo headphones so the sound card was sending the information to the headphone jack rather than to my speakers. So when I brought up the Alsa mixer, I changed it up to my multi-channel, which allows me not only to hear from the speakers I can plug into headphones, and it will turn my speakers off, allowing me to hear. Now, another thing that you can do is you can press the F6 key. Now, if your sound card, if you have multiple sound cards like I do, but I have my own board sound card turned off, you can move the arrow keys up and down and select your sound card. Or you can press the number like the number zero on my keyboard to select the Zonar if that's not the one selected. You can select that. And I'm going to escape because I do have the correct sound card. But all you simply do is just move and navigate using the left and right arrow keys so that you can select the right one. And since I didn't have any speaker sound through my speakers, the problem was on the output. So I changed that from headphones to multi-channel. I exit and save my settings. Uh, the exit is the uh, escape button. I save my settings and I then had sound. But I, I, to make sure, once I escape from here, I go back, now I type exit. I go back into my uh, control center, click on sound. And where I had hardware that was dim, since I turned that on, it then became green like you see here. And I'm not going to turn it off because I think it might mess up my recording. Now I can go to output since the problem was within my speaker settings. Uh, and then I made sure that it said analog output because the speakers that I'm using is on the analog jacks, not the digital jacks. Now if you're using an, a speaker system with digital inputs, you'll just drop down and you'd select the inputs of digital. Now I don't have any digital speakers, so that's not an option for me made sure that I'm not on mute, made sure that I do have some volume. I then rebooted my computer and that fixed my sound. Now, if that wasn't solution for you, on my webpage, 
I do have some additional information that where I've worked on other people's computers that didn't have sound that I had to do other things to get their sound working. Now you can do the test on here and I'm not going to because the speaker would have to play and pick up in the microphone. But that's the solution there. Now if you turn it on your sound card and it shows up your hardware is dummy or a dummy output and I've had that to happen then here's all you do is you just reload ALSA. So you go sudo ALSA force reload and I'm not going to do that because that's going to reboot or kind of reload my ALSA which is my sound and since I'm recording with a microphone it may create problems but as you can see in the images that I captured it will go through it will ask you for your password and it will reboot or restart your ALSA which is basically your sound driver in Linux uh, if that didn't work you might want to remove your ALSA and Pulse Audio you may have a corrupt file on your system and this is what you do you open the terminal and just basically put in that command press enter and put your password if need to and then reinstall uh, your ALSA base and Pulse Audio and then reload it like we did above and that should fix your problem the last solution that I have uh, if it don't fix it is to edit uh, a file that's located in your Etsy default speech dispatcher if the last line in this particular file says yes then change it from yes to no then exit and save what you did reboot your system and hopefully you will have sound now this is what I did to fix my sound problem Hopefully, if you are experiencing problems with your sound, that this solution will work for you. So hopefully you get your sound up and running. Good luck to each and every one of you, and have a great day.